take care of your body it's the only place you have to live welcome to my channel one of the ways we take care of our body is by healthy eating in this video i'll give you a glimpse of my simple meals and share some principles that i have adopted i'm not a health professional nor am i making any recommendations I'm just sharing how I enjoy eating at the moment. Thank you Tracy for requesting this video. Enjoy! I like to start the day with a hot cup of tea or coffee. I have it plain without sugar, but I sometimes add a bit of almond milk, especially to my coffee. I sit and savor my drink for a few moments and ease into my day. I reflect on my plans for the day and give thanks to God for the gift of a new day. Next, I shower and leave for my aqua jogging class at the beach. I love being in water even though I'm not a swimmer. Some days I just take a walk on the beach. Having a bit of exercise in the morning is said to boost your energy, improve focus and put you in a better mood. When I return home, I'm more than ready for breakfast. I usually have fruit, a smoothie or smoothie bowl, or oatmeal. I love my tropical fruits, and watermelon, pineapple, and pawpaw are my staples when in season. But I really enjoy all fruits. In my smoothies, I use frozen spinach or kale, banana, berries, nut butter, spirulina, flax and chia, and almond milk or coconut water and I added some pumpkin seeds at the end it's so good my oatmeal is usually loaded with nuts nut butter seeds flax and chia and topped with a banana and berries it keeps me full a lot longer than when I have only fruit the first principle I live by is to eat more foods that grow on a plant than are made in a plant there are so many different diets out there that ultimately we all have to choose the one that works best for our body and can help us to create optimal health. I enjoy eating a plant-based diet, but I sometimes have a bit of fish, so that makes me a pescatarian. I grew up on a carnivore diet, but in my 20s I found that I didn't enjoy the meat as much and I decided to eliminate it. Then I began to reduce my dairy intake and now I only have it occasionally. Researchers at the American Gut Project found that those who ate more than 30 different plant foods each week had a more diverse gut microbiome. And plant-based foods include fruits and vegetables, legumes, grains, nuts and seeds, herbs and spices. Lunch tends to be my biggest meal of the day. Have you ever heard the saying, eat breakfast like a king, lunch like a prince and dinner like a pauper? Most days I have sweet potatoes or other ground provision like cassava or sometimes it would be quinoa with vegetables and legumes or even a large salad. I haven't been having much rice of late but I love my East Indian curries so this day I decided to have some jasmine rice with curried potatoes and chickpeas. First I put a little coconut oil in the pot and then I added my curry blend. It's curry with a bit of cumin and some turmeric. Afterwards I added my onions, garlic, pimentos and some green seasoning and I let it saute a bit. Next I added my cubed potatoes and chickpeas. And finally I added some water and covered the pot and left it to cook. Then I seasoned with salt, black pepper, cayenne and other spices. I enjoy curry with a green or mixed salad or some coleslaw. The second principle I live by is eat the rainbow. Colorful fruits and vegetables have phytonutrients that are believed to protect against cancer and heart disease. The most vibrantly colored foods tend to be richest in vitamins, minerals, and antioxidants. Each color provides different benefits, so it's important to have a mix. So I try to include in my diet as many different colors as I can. Red fruits and vegetables like tomatoes, strawberries, beets, and watermelons 
they have lycopene and that protects against prostate cancer, heart and lung disease. Then we have the orange and yellow fruits like carrots, pumpkin, bananas, pineapple and sweet potatoes. Those support intracellular communication and also protect against heart disease. Then our greens like avocado, green tea, broccoli, cabbage and kale, they have sulforaphane and other cancer blocking chemicals. The third principle is to eat for my future self. I've always loved snacks and sometimes I would eat them instead of having a meal. As I've gotten older, I've been trying to reduce my snack consumption. So now when I'm tempted to purchase a snack that's not the best for my body, I ask myself whether it's going to help or harm my future self. And that works well for me. Occasionally, I still give in to temptation. But generally, my diet consists of 75 to 80% whole foods. There was a study conducted in the Blue Zones by a National Geographic writer. And he found that the five pillars of the Blue Zones diet are whole grains, vegetables, greens, beans, and tubers. So if you want to eat for longevity, those are some of the things to incorporate. If I've had a heavy lunch, dinner is usually a snack like some nuts or fruit with a cup of tea. Sometimes I have hummus or guacamole with crackers. And this day, because I had half of an avocado, I decided to make a bit of guac. Another principle I've been experimenting with is intermittent fasting. Previously, we were advised to eat five smaller meals rather than three large meals, but now there's evidence to the contrary. The more frequently we eat, especially sugars and carbs, the more insulin our pancreas releases to help get rid of the excess sugar. And that may lead to insulin resistance. So I'm working on that. Your diet is a bank account and good food choices are good investments. I like to think that my body is trying hard to keep me healthy and that I have to help it along. Have you incorporated any of these principles into your diet? What are some of the others that work for you? Let me know in the comments what you struggle most with when it comes to healthy eating. Thank you so much for watching and if this video has been helpful, please consider subscribing to join our little community. Thank you for watching. Please like, comment and subscribe. See you soon.